So we just learned what a radian was, but we've always had this thing of degrees, which is how we talk about angles. So it's helpful to go back and forward between them when we're starting to learn more about radians. So we want to learn how to convert between the two of them. And before attempting this lesson, just make sure you've gone through and you know what is a radian. All right, so there's a lot of different times when you have two different ways of measuring something. Like you might be in physics class and you can measure this distance in feet or meters, but it's important to go between the two values. Maybe your formula uses meters, but your ruler uses feet. You have to be able to convert between the two. All right, and as long as you know how these things are related, the conversion process is always the exact same. It doesn't matter if we're going from feet to meters, if we're going to go from radians to degrees, miles to kilometers. The conversion process is always the exact same. Right, the first thing we need to do is, what is the equality? What's the similarity between degrees and radians, or whatever units you're trying to convert between? Right, we figured out that, well, we've known for a long time, that 360 degrees is the full revolution of a circle, and 2 pi radians, we just learned, is a full revolution in radians, which means these two things have to be equal to each other. They both represent going around that full circle one time. Uh, but you know, might notice we have this 2 here, so we can actually just divide both sides by 2 just to make the number smaller. Half of a circle is 180 degrees, and half of a circle is pi radians. It doesn't make sense to go smaller than this because then you'd have a fraction with the pi, and it's just easiest to keep it as a single pi. So this is going to be our conversion ratio, 180 degrees equals pi radians. And here's a strategy for converting anything. Again, we're specifically going to do it with... Um, degrees and radians, but you can convert anything in this way. All right, so the first thing is combine, find the conversion ratio between the things. So for us, that's 180 equals pi radians. I write the conversion ratio as a fraction, with the thing you want is your final answer on the top. I almost think of it as the thing I want to get rid of is on the bottom. I right, then you multiply your conversion ratio by the original measurement, and then you simplify. All right, so that sounds really complicated. It's really not too, too bad. So let's think about this first question. We're going to convert 225 to radians. All right, so we have 225. I want my final answer to have radians, and I'm going to get rid of degrees. So when I do my conversion ratio, the radians part of it is going to be on the top, and the degrees part of it is going to be on the bottom. Why is that important? Because uh, units act just like numbers and stuff. There's a Right, this is over 1. There's a degrees on the top of this fraction, and there's a degrees on the bottom of the fraction over here. They cancel out. So now when I multiply, I get 225 pi over 180 radians. I right, just multiply the tops, multiply the bottoms. All right, now I just need to simplify. 225 and 180 are both divisible by 45. I get 5 pi over 4 radians. And again, it looks weird. There's always going to be this kind of pi when you're talking about radians because of that um, circumference being 2 pi, and then something like fraction involved with it. All right, but 5 pi over 4 radians is the same as a 225 degree angle. All right, so here's one for you to try on your own. I right, convert 300 degrees into radians. Right, I'll show you the answer in 3, 2, 1. All right, here's your answer. Again, we're using the same conversion process with the degrees to cancel out. And then 300 and 180 are both divisible by 60, you get 5 pi over 3. All right, now we're going to convert this radian measure to degrees. So it's going to be fairly similar, similar, which is one difference, 3 pi over 4 radians. Now we're going to multiply it by our conversion ratio, but we want to end in degrees and get rid of radians. Now we're going to write the fraction in the opposite way. So now this radians here and that radians cancel. Most of the time, nicely, the pi's will also cancel. So we're going to get 3 times 180 over 4 degrees, and that gives us 135 degrees. All right, so it's same process. The only difference, major difference, is this part right here. How right, whichever thing you want to cancel out goes on the bottom, your final answer part goes on the top. All right, so here's one for you to try on your own. I right, convert 7 pi over 6 into degrees. I'll show you the answer in 3, 2, 1. And the final answer you get is 210 degrees. All right, again, importantly, make sure you have this in the right order. If you didn't have this in the right order, you multiply the pi and pi, and you get some pi squared that's automatically like a clue you did something wrong. All right, so quick summary. Most important things from this lesson, 180 degrees is the same as pi radians. That's our conversion ratio. 
The other thing is just make sure you're writing your fraction in the correct format. All right, cancel out what you don't want. What you don't want goes on the bottom. What you do want goes on the top. And this will work for any type of conversion you do in any type of scenario.